Hi everyone, I'm Chris McCormick. I'm a member of the Ellsberg and Free Ski team and today I'm going to be talking to you through how a slopestyle contest is scored. Slopestyle is a discipline within freestyle skiing that will be making its third appearance at the Games this winter in Beijing. It initially made its debut in 2014 at the Olympics in Sochi. A slopestyle course is made up of jumps and rails that skiers perform tricks on as they move down the hill. On qualification day, each skier is given two runs. The best of these two runs will be used to decide the qualification rankings. From these rankings, the best athletes, usually the top 12 men and eight women, will qualify to the finals. The finalists will then receive a further two runs. Again, the best score from these two will be taken and that will be used to decide the final rankings. The runs are scored on a scale from zero to 100. Understanding which tricks are harder than others is a difficult process, but a useful acronym to tell between a 34 and a 92 is DEAL. Difficulty. Difficulty is about how hard the trick is, and usually the more spins in the trick, the harder it is. Execution. Execution is about how well the trick is performed, and this takes into consideration the style of the trick. Amplitude. Amplitude refers to how big the rider goes. Landing. A trick is almost worthless without a good landing, so this means you'll be docked for any hands down on the snow or any revers. That's you up to speed on ski slope style scoring. Hopefully you find this useful and you're now ready to enjoy freestyle skiing at the Beijing Winter Olympics.